all right welcome back to our channel this is tech made easy and then we see a simplified digital world and so tech made easy is actually going to teach you today how to um, transfer files from your local pc to your mobile device that is your android device or your ios device and then also the other way around that's from your ios or your android device to your local PC using Zender. Mind you, you don't need to get a Zender app on your laptop or you don't need to get a Zender app on your local PC before this can be done. So we are going to take you through the processes so that you get to know how it is done. Okay, so first, first of all, you want to make sure your phone and then your PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. That means you should come here. When you come here, um, you realize connected okay so you can see connected over here but we are not going to use internet connection my data is on for some other reasons here yeah, but i'm receiving some information some inputs so i don't need to turn my data off but mind you if you have um 0, 0.00 megabytes you can still do this you don't require internet connection before you can do that so let's get to our phone so this is our phone right here yeah so over here on our phone we want to make sure uh, our hotspot our mobile hotspot is on yep so after you turn on the mobile hotspot you make sure you connect it to um, the same wi-fi as how do you call it the the local pc so when they are both connected the next step can be done so the next step is you want to open any browser on your local pc any browser at all so you can use uh, Mozilla Firefox, you can go for um, Microsoft Edge, you can go for um, uh, Google Chrome, Chromium, any of the browsers you have. So let's come to start uh -huh. and then let's let's open any of the browsers. Um, let's use Google Chrome. Okay, so this is Google Chrome. So it's going to launch Google Chrome for you and then we are going to come there. So this is Tech Medici, just as we said. And then we are giving you weekly contents every every time we are asking you to subscribe to our channel and also like our videos if you find this video helpful i will advise you share it so that other people too can equally receive this important video okay so that's chrome right there okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to come to your phone and then you want to open zender yeah so you open zender sure so after opening zender my ways are okay let's go back to chrome so this are chrome google chrome um let's open our browser sure okay so when you come to this side no i don't want to restore so okay this is what you want to do so when you come here over here in zender you are going to see these three lines these three lines oh uh, he's calling no we are not going to answer that so over here in zender you want to make sure you have everything you have all these interface so you come here up here you see these three lines you click on it You click on these three lines then you choose the very first option that's connect pc connect pc so you click connect pc and then it takes you to the side so when you come here you are going to see this you see they are they are giving you the steps over here just as i said initially the first step is to um, get your mobile device and then your your local PC connected via the same um, Wi-Fi that's your hotspot and then so after that you you connect your PC yeah that, that's what we just said and we just did that so the next thing you want to do is you want to visit um, on the PC you want to visit the web address below it is actually um, how do you call it um, the IP address of the phone followed by the port number we are using so over here you want to type this 
what we have here this number yeah the 192 dot whatever you want to come here and then you type 192 dot 168 dot 43 dot 63 colon 33455 so actually the 33455 is our port number so we hit enter and then you see this both on the PC and on your mobile device so oh no 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 okay so on the mobile device you'll be you'll be required to accept the connection yes so do you want to connect to the PC on a mobile device you have to click accept this one so we choose accept and then it launches um, Zender web for us mind you over here we are not using any data that's what we have over here no mobile data used in this transfer okay so actually when you get here for the first time what what you see is this you see this so this is our phone uh -huh, and then that's the name of the phone this is an android device so you can see the android here and the same process works for ios or iphone users so you can also try it so the first thing you want to do is let me quickly take you through these options so we have um home we have home we have images we have videos we have um how do you call it music we have documents we have apps and then we have files so let's say i want to go to images now when i click on images actually what i'm going to see over here what i'm going to see is what i have on my phone not on the pc so all these things are found on my phone my local um how do you call it mobile device so these are all found on the phone okay so let's come back to the phone okay so over here on the phone um you can choose any image okay let's say i want to choose this image when i choose it you realize it appears on your pc yeah this is how it's going to be so when you swipe to the right or to the left it changes the images in the order uh -huh, like that and so this is one of the one of the ways you can view your your images or your whatever on your pc so now let's go back and try transferring some files so let's go to files over here and then this is what we have on the on the phone this is the phone's internal storage okay so um when you come to the phone's internal storage let's go to download maybe we have some files we want to download okay so you come to download you just let's say i want to download this track vault boy this song everything hits me at once this is the song i want to the phone uh, the song is on the phone i want to download it uh -huh. so val zender so i need to choose it first i need to click on it to activate all these options now let's go back it's now deactivated you see all these options are gone so when you click it you activate them what do you want to do do you want to download when you come here whatever you want to do you can do it so let's just click on the download it is actually going to download this and then bring it directly into your download and um, how do you call it let's that's a file um manager right there so you click on this and then it will download the song so when you go to your local pc you go and see there let's go to downloads um downloads music okay so you realize our song that's everything hits me at once yeah that's it right there you can see our song is right here we can play it or we can also do whatever you want to do with it yeah so guys give this video a like yeah whatever questions you have kindly put them in the comment section below and then we will attend to you kindly give this video a subscription kindly subscribe to our channel so that whenever we release contents like this you'll be the first person to get notified and also um enjoy the videos as well if you find this video helpful to kindly um share it with others so that they can also get access to our channel and then learn from us this is tech made easy and what we say is tech made easy a simplified digital world see you in our next video bye bye